What's up, people? This is Hoser. This is just another video, uh, extended video for those that are interested of how this actual really works and how am I going to hook it up. And I uh, just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So, this base, the relay sometimes don't come with it, but if you can buy it with the base, it'd be awesome because you can just screw everything on. And then everything is good to go. See, you can see that there's just screws on here. And it's kind of hard. I, I, I won't rec I'm not going to try to make it focus. But on each, each tab here for every screw, it has a number. So what I do is I go ahead and I draw it. Positive and negative. And uh, I number every single screw. These are sh the screws. The position where the screw is. And uh, the, I know I have NC, which is normally closed, and NO, which is normally open. So I get my meter, and I have it on the continuity so that uh, it'll make a sound. Now let me show you what I mean. So if I touch this here, these two are the power. And you'll all you'll notice that there's never there's nothing here in the middle, so that's the power. And then you have these four screws, and then you have these eight in the, on the other side. So now you touch this one here, and you touch here. And you see how it, it'll beep, meaning that there's it's contact. They're both touching. They're both connected. Now if you touch the bottom one, nothing. See, there's nothing there. But if you plug in your AC. Or you plug in whatever, actually you don't even have to plug in your, you, if you plug in the DC because you have the, I have the switch hooked up to the DC to turn on the latch, the relay, I'm sorry. See, you can see, I don't know if you can see the switch is turning on, connecting. You can hear a little click, right? So now... If I plug this in, and now I touch the other connector, you can see that now that, that one makes noise, and the one that originally was making noise doesn't make noise anymore. Okay, but this one does, because now the switch is is connected by the magnetic field that that the coil is is giving. All right, um, that's pretty much it, and that's the reason why the AC or this pump. Uh, well, the light representing the pump turns on uh, because you have one one cord from the AC on on the switch here, and then you have the you have it connected in series with your pump, and then you have the other side connected to the other switch that's normally open. So if I had it up here, it would turn on when I plug in the AC. It, you can make it work backwards. That's up to you. But that's not what, what I'm doing. So I wanted, I want the pump to turn on when I turn on the relay to make the connection, not the other way around. All right. So that's just a little explanation of how that works. Uh, I'm gonna hook up the circuit and uh, make another video. All right. Later.